you know seeing the two of them always reminds me of us when we were younger i know right mm -hmm. she may not be fast but she's definitely not lazy something is happening has actually come to our notice there can never be peace this is war hmm? I must shout! No, I brand have to brand 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 my sister! That girl is not my sister. We are not related by blood. We are not related by adoption. If I told you that I am in Dubai, I am sure you would not doubt it for a second. But this is not Dubai. This is Lagos, Nigeria. At the premiere of the movie, The Two Aisha. One movie that I've been anticipating for a while now. And it's finally here. This premiere is very special to me because it has a theme that I love. They said bring Arabian vibe. And we brought it hot, hot. You know how we do it now. Hmm? Oh, I must shout. No, I I this is one movie I feel is going to blow your mind because it's different. It's a fake based movie. And I think that I love that Arabelle Films had decided to go on this journey. Friend, you're my sister. That girl is not my sister. We are not related by blood. We are not related by adoption. Now, I am going to be speaking to some of the guests on the carpet today, as usual, as well as the cast from the movie, The Two Aishas. Rahama Saddam, Mayam, two of my favorite on this movie, both of them playing the role of Aisha, and I cannot wait to see what they brought to this movie at the end of it. Guys, it's going to be fantastic. All I'm going to tell you for sure is sit back, relax, and watch your girl, Moya Saralua, do a thing, as usual. This is Enyola Badmas TV, and don't go nowhere. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment. One of the stars of the movie, the two Aisha, the ever gorgeous, gracious Rahama Sadel. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you so much. Blush. Raise your shoulder. Do everything you have to do because you deserve it and more tonight. I have seen you a lot of times and seen you in the two Aisha. I'm like, now I know why she's my favorite. <laughs> How proud are you of the work you put together tonight? Very proud, actually. Very proud. And I'm so excited, me, myself particularly, to be part of this project. It's a very unique project and very interesting. And yeah, yeah, because it's different, I think that's why it's very um, dear to me. And I'm looking forward to watching it. We all are. And one of the questions I asked the director earlier on is, why did you decide to embark on a journey as unique as this one? Not so many faith-based movies in, in the cinemas. And this is happening. When you got the script and when you were called on the project, how did you react? Uh, the first time I read the script, I immediately jumped on the project. I didn't even think <laughs> twice. And I think why, why I jumped on the project is about the uniqueness. It's absolutely different from what I'm used to doing on screen, a fate first movie. We hardly see that. I mean, if not the first, but I hardly see that. So when I saw the character, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm doing this. And even more interesting about that is that the character I played is completely different from who I am in person. So it just added a lot more of <laughs> to the project. So yeah. Are you anxious, you know, having people come to see the movie for the first time and hitting the cinemas tomorrow? I am also nervous because I want to see what I did in, in, the, in the movie. So, yeah, and it's a very good film. It's a very good film. It teaches us a lot about... I can tell already. Yeah, I can tell. Congratulations to you. And we say that... We hope that this is going to do the numbers in the cinemas at the end of the... Yes, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Friend, you're my sister. That girl is not my sister. We are not related by blood. We are not related by adoption. You know, one of your favorite, one man whose name is ringing right now, an AMVC nominee also, Chidi Makeme in the building. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? I'm very fine. You know, I'm one of those people who was particularly rooting for you for the AMVCs. I mean, finally, it's here. When you saw your name on that, how did you feel? I mean, it feels good. You know, it feels good to see that the effort that you put in has been noticed and it's being appreciated. You know, so 
everybody on that list is a potential winner. So kudos to everybody. Um, we normally don't do this for the accolades, you know. So the accolades are a good by, uh, byproduct of what we do. So it feels good to get the nomination. It will feel good to win the award. Before we come to the two Aishas, I mean, you're one person who has seen different generations when it comes to this industry. You've been here a long time. Seeing what we had in the past and what we have right now, what's your major highlight with the growth the industry has experienced? I mean, the, the growth is phenomenal. The growth is, uh, we're making growth in leaps and bounds, you know, basically. So, and it seems to be expected, you know. So as a child, we expect the child to grow. And over the years, Nollywood has stood by itself and continues to be self-funded largely. And uh, the growth may have been slow, but it's here eventually. And um, we see what's happening already. And it can only get better. You know one person I see at events a lot? Coming out for the two I shared, I know there is a reason. So tell me, what brought you out tonight? I mean, I, I want to see, I want to support good productions, good projects, you know. Um, the people at Arabelle have been good friends of mine for a while, and I know that um, they've had good dreams of uh, bringing good, good change to this space. So I want to see what they have put together and uh, support them. All right, and in the spirit of support, let's tell people why they should go out from the 24th to see this movie. Well, I'm here to see the movie, so you should come out to see the movie. That's enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, and have a great Thank night. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, take a look at the gorgeous DJ. I mean, she looks so great. How are you doing? Smoking. I love your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. We're all in. All out, man. <laughs> all in and all out. But Thank you so much. Hi. Thank nice. you. I'm fine, thank you. I'm good to have you here today. I know that the two Aishas, I mean, the noise has been everywhere for a while now. Stepping out tonight, I know you have a lot of expectations. Do you want to tell me a bit of that? Well, for me, I'm just happy that um, there are more and more platforms being open for different kinds of films. Um, I think Nigeria is a fantastic um, hub for so many talents. And just having this being done, especially knowing... Um, you know, the producer, and I just actually met one of the writers, and it's, it's fantastic to just see um, just the platforms just completely getting bigger and bigger. And that's just what more I'm happy about rather than even just expecting anything from, it's more of it's happened and I'm here, yeah. You know, when I saw the trailer and I saw the PR, everything about the movie, I'm like, this is really huge for a faith-based movie. I mean, we don't have so many of this kind of right, movie, right. you know, come out and this one is doing so well. A lot of people are talking about it. What do you think Arabelle Films did differently this time around? Um, I just think, I don't think it's necessarily something different, but I think more and more producers are listening to what the people want, uh, what they need. Sometimes we don't always know what we want. Um, and I'm sure some people are a bit more afraid to ask, oh, we need more faith-based movies and things like that. So the fact that they're just doing it and people sometimes not knowing that I actually needed a movie like that, um, I think it's, it's, it's fantastic. And I think everyone should do whatever comes to their mind. The space is open. You know, Nigeria now is a place to be right now. And now let's tell people why they should go out tomorrow, 24th right. of April, to see this movie. Awesome. Oh, do I need to? No, I like, I like your nails, actually. Hi, guys. What's up? It's your girl, Deja. And um, just being here today about literally watching um, parts of it and already stopped at one place when they called me for this interview. So I want to run back. Make sure you're out tomorrow watching this fantastic movie called The Two Aishas. And I know a lot of people would like that because, you know, everyone has that, you know, one friend that they grew up with and then maybe one or two things happened and it will make you probably call your friends when you're done. So please go out and watch, support the movie and um, share, share to every single person that you know. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rahama Sado. Keep watching Movie Zone on Eniola Badmos TV. You know, one of the things I love about this particular premiere is the theme. I mean, look at how all the ladies are looking so gracious. And you look so amazing, Maya. Thank you. You also look so great. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, tonight is that night where you were, you were made to shine. And nobody's going to steal the shine away from you. You did a great job on the movie too, Aisha. How do you feel stepping out and seeing all of the reception that is going on here tonight? super proud i feel so super proud you know seeing one of this is one of its kind because it's it's the first time you know a movie like this has been is being shown and is being made 
So I feel really, really proud right now. I feel so happy. You know, I'm taking my shoulders up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it because I saw the trailer and you and Rahama, you look so good. In fact, your friendship can't be hungry me for the movie, right? Just seeing the trailer alone. Tell, take us down, you know, the lane a little bit of how you worked on this project and your expectations seeing people see this movie tonight. You know, um, knowing the fact that I was, I was going to be on set with Rahama, I knew it's not going to be difficult because, you know, we already have a good relationship you know, apart from the screen relationship. So I knew it was going to be an easy project and I've worked with Hakeem, you know, on several projects also. It, it was just the crew and Alhamdulillah, like welcoming, everything was great. Everyone was on their tools trying to make sure that, you know, we made magic and we did make magic. You guys did make magic and I'm so proud tonight. <laughs> but looking at this now, are you a bit anxious? <laughs> yes, because I want to see, I want to watch what, you know, making a, writing a script and shooting a movie and watching a movie, it's a completely different thing. So I, I'm so eager. I just want to go there and see what we did. I can't wait for you to see yourself and I know that you'll be super proud when you do. Thank you so much and have a great night as a star that you are. Once again, my name is Hakim Mogad. I'm an actor and I play the character Jamal on the set of Two Aishas. I must tell you that this movie is about um, love, peace, and friendship. But of course, in the middle of all of these things, there are bound to seem misunderstandings. And so it's all about after every fight, what comes afterwards? Peace, love is a watchword. God bless you all. And thanks for coming out to watch it. One of the things I love about the two Aisha is the fact that the movie is totally different and you can see that the theme we are also following tonight is amazing, making everyone look radiant and I love what the director looks like right now. Mama, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Gracious. Thank you. <laughs> how do you feel tonight? Oh, very happy, very fulfilled and very grateful to God. It's been a long journey and you know what, it's like a, a pregnant woman. So you have the baby, so when you deliver, they're like, oh, yes, you see the beautiful baby, and then you're so happy. So they forget all the pains. So that is the position I am today. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to God Almighty. Uh, one thing a lot of people with conversation we've had earlier on is the fact that this movie is different. And I'm, I can imagine the risk Arabel film is taking right now putting out a faith-based movie. We don't have so many of them. Do you want to tell us why you decided to go on this journey? The very thing you said, that we don't have a lot of faith-based movies, and we should have them. So um, there's a, there's, there's a, when there's a lack, when there's a vacuum, somebody has to fill it. And that's what, uh, what, I, what, that's what I'm doing here now. And, um, and that is the only way you can make an impact. I don't want to compete. I'm not a, I'm not a, 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 a movie producer per se. I'm just a person coming from a position of passion and trying to just... Uh, to, to fulfill a dream and to, um, to provide a need for, a, for, a, for, for, for people. I, I love it. I love how you put it. And working with Rahama Sadao, I mean, when I saw her on the, on the trailer, I wasn't surprised. I mean, I was like, yeah, she's definitely one to go out for when you're making a movie like this one. How was the experience doing this with her? Oh, she's a wonderful uh, young lady. I, you know, I, I saw her for the first time and then we just gelled. She's so hardworking, so dedicated to her craft, and she's so experienced. And the two of them, I, I, in fact, all the crew members, all the cast, all the cast, they, they brought the A-game, and they were so passionate. It was like something personal to them. And for that, I'm very grateful, and they put in all their best. So if you're watching the film, you'll see that this is not just an ordinary film. It's a film that comes with, uh, with a lot of energy. And now it's finally here. Tomorrow, people will be heading to the cinema. Do you have what? Uh, so tomorrow, I implore all of you to go to the cinema. It has been um, rated PG. So that means it's for all the old family. The children are not left behind. Tomorrow is a public holiday. Are you, I hope you're going to show this yeah. today. Okay. <laughs> uh, Monday the 24th is public holiday. And then there was another public holiday coming the next week. So you have a lot of opportunity to go to the cinemas all over the country to watch the two Aishas. And you will love it. You will not just spend one and a half hours just of fun, of laughter. You'll spend uh, one and a half hours of learning.
of deep thoughts and you will be so blessed. And the hashtag for people is hashtag the two Aishas. So when you go to the cinema and you watch a video and post it, and that is to support us and to push the, the, the movie forward. Thank you so much for talking to us and congratulations Thank once again. So Thank you so much. Hi guys, my name is Shushu and I played the role of Halima in this movie, The Two Aishas. And um, this movie is actually about, um, it teaches us so many things. The first of which I would like to say it's friendship, love, and um, forgiveness. And it also showcases the, the, the luxury and the beautiful part of Islam, which many people doubt or think it's not there. You know? It permits us to be beautiful and, you know, so that is uh, one of the major purpose of this production. I'm so glad to be on it. I have with me the first AD for the movie, two Aishas. And yes, like I said earlier on, the crew are as important as every other person on set because they make the dream work. How are you doing this evening? Very fine, thank you. And yes, uh, two Aishas, tell me, when you worked on this project, what was it like being the first AD? Um, stressful. <laughs> <laughs> for every production, you, see, you know, AD is always it's stressful. Um, first off, it's the first kind of uh, this is the first type of story, first time I'm working on this type of story because it, it's different from what we have been seeing in cinema. So it, it caught my interest and yeah, I decided to give it all. And for my department, I had a second AD that we worked together and yeah, it's amazing. And now that it's finally here, it's a, there's a lot of hype around this movie and I'm wondering what did you people put in this stew? <laughs> How do you feel watching all of the hype? Amazing, amazing. Amazing, I mean, I mean, it's funny how you, you, uh, um, audience come into the theater to see in few hours what you have, I mean, labored for to work on. It's, it, it, there's anxiety because the movie is on now, and then I just want everybody from tomorrow to go into the cinemas and enjoy it. I, I promise it's a different one. Yes, it is a different one, and we promise you that you're going to enjoy it. Congratulations, and we hope that you have a fantastic night tonight, and of course, a, a fantastic run in the cinema. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, there is no movie that can successfully, successfully be completed without the effort of the crew members. And I have some members of crew for the movie, Two Aishas. And I'm going to allow you to meet them. Hello, good evening. Please tell us your name. Yeah, my name is Henry. And what role did you play? Yeah, I was the second DOP. Ah, second DOP. I love DOPs, by the way. <laughs> tell us your name, please. My name is Charlotte. Yes, what role? Assistant costume, yeah? Okay, I see that. You're doing well with the costume. You guys had a blast. I'm sure it was an experience on set of the two Aishas. Briefly tell me what the experience was like. Okay, so um, we experienced a whole lot, like um, starting from the storyline, starting from the costumes. I have to talk about the costumes because I haven't actually worked on anything like that before, styling for mostly Muslims. Um, yeah, so it was really something um, unexpected. Like, it's not really something I've done or it's not regular. That's how I should say it's not regular. It's something out of the box. So the storyline and everything, the people on set, the actors, they were all awesome. So we had great experience. I can tell. Tell us about your experience as well. Uh, my experience on the wall was like quite easy because it's what we do as a DOP, like to bring the story to life. Yeah, that is it. So we didn't add more um, difficulties because we, when we go, we, when we got to the script, like we make sure we bring our knowledge, everything, to bring the story to life. And now that it's finally here, how proud are you? Very proud. <laughs> how proud are you? Very, very proud. Are you, not, are you anxious watching it right now? Yeah, very well. Like, yeah. <laughs> what about you? Anxious. <laughs> anyway, I trust that you'll be proud of yourself even more when you see the reaction of everyone in that place after the movie is done. Thank you for talking to us and have a blast. Thank you, too. Thank you. Hi, of course. My name is Joseph Mamadou. And on this one, the two Aishas, I expect nothing less because we have Paulo Tomi, we have Akim Ogar, and we have the two Aishas. And about my outfit. First off, I styled myself. No one should take the glory. I simply went to my wardrobe and I decided to stay outstanding. So now I'm not just an actor and a model. I'm a fashionista. Uh -huh. And so what? And so what? 
Right with me is the art director and the gaffer for the movie, The Two Aishas. Trust me, the crew members are always the bomb. Good evening, how are you doing? Good evening, ma'am. And how are you, sir? Fine. Good evening. First of all, what kind of butterflies do you have in your tummy right now? How? A lot. Like, I can't even see. Like, seriously. But it's finally here. How proud are you of the work you've put together? Yeah, okay, so my... Um my expectations are actually high, and um, yeah, uh, um, uh, my initial scale was um, audi the audience following the story, but I see they're actually following quite well. So I think, I think there's nothing that's that's more fulfilling than seeing the audience following the story you're actually told on television. Interesting. And looking at what you have, it feels like this is a totally different experience. I mean, the type of movie it is and all of that. But I want you to put in your own words, what do you think will sell this to Aisha, to people out there? Um, what will sell this to this to the people is you need to wait and to be very, very observant. As in very, very observant. Even as a friend, we might not know what is going through and then this movie teaches us friendship right. and love interesting thank you so much for talking to us we hope that you enjoyed this work that you've put together yeah. thank you thank you bad moss and of course i'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to eniola bad moss tv on youtube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bad.